For that collector, you can talk your way through in a non-lethal manner. Yeah, yeah, we, we just need to get her, her hearts, right? Yeah, I can do that. I like doing things in a non-lethal manner, though so far in the game, I've killed a lot of innocent people, I guess. At least a lot of innocent Nikin when doing the Goose quest, the one that they fly on rockets to space. I killed the Nightkin, which I guess if you had stealthed and just talked to the leader, maybe you could have saved them. So I didn't do that. Always kill him, his goal is nice. <laughs> Alright, welcome to the strip. This is it, boys. I think we've already given the passport. Move along. So we should be free to go. Let's go. Strip, strip, strip. Um, <laughs> Sorry, that is against the Twitch terms of service. Wow, it's so much more pretty. Howdy, partner. You've come from oh, there he is. Welcome to New Vegas. What's his name again? He had a name, Victor, Victor, Victor. What are you doing here? Consider me your personal welcome wife. Now hear this, the head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. All right. I'll be going there. Yeah, partner. That's the spirit. He'll be waiting. I used Black Widow to sleep with Benny before killing him and taking all his stuff. Where you can sleep with Benny? <laughs> Why would you sleep with him though? Going to have words with your command, That's quite some rain you realize that Rob would just be screaming at you from 20 meters away. Yeah, he was pretty far. That's okay. So he's asking us to go to the Lucky 38. Do we get a quest for that? Yes, we do. The house always wins. Oh, it's right here actually. Ring a ding. <laughs> You're gonna ring Benny's ding? Do I have to talk to him to well, enter? Howdy, Thank you, Victor. I no problem, I'll head up myself. Come back. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Attack. Don't want to attack Victor, he's just a nice boy. Door to Lucky 38. Let's go. Hmm, do I have to talk to Victor? Penthouse? Alright, where is he gonna be? Be advised, visitors will be held responsible for the behavior of any robot's company member. What a weird place. Don't see any humans. There's a bad though. There's a nice, nice punch glove behind the bar on the left, I think, like that. We're checking a bit. I don't really use unarmed stuff though. Is this the, the boy I need to talk to? It seems like it. Mr. House. Hmm, interesting. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally and I suspect figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Um... A <laughs> scene devoted to this bison sign. A scene was not to love. I prefer the wasteland, to be honest. What the hell are you? <laughs> mm, I don't see anything like this place. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the lucky thirty. Snow globes can be turning here too for Grandma Capsule. That's nice. I have one. But still, she manages to impress. By the VIP treat, ma'am. Just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. 
Let's get down to business, huh? The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Simple enough. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Oh, so this is like we get to choose if we do the quest for the contract or if we do the quest for him? I have a few questions before I decide. What do you wish to know? How do I get to Benny? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the tops. Chema, your employees, don't they say coldest? It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crime... Rene Oberho noise? Who is that? The voice of Mr. House. I don't know who that is, to be honest. Um... Say I want to take a diplomatic approach? If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Huh. The idea is how I could cut him off guard. Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. Yeah, I probably can't do that. It's okay. Let's talk about something else. Tell me about Benny. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. Hmm, what use would you have for protege? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case... He was Odo in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Oh, I see. I never actually watched Star Trek at all. Like, ever, ever, ever. I've seen once there was like an episode on TV, but I didn't actually watch it. But I was like, oh, that's StarCraft, that's cool. Oh, not StarCraft, <laughs> Star Trek. Why did Benny betray you? I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Hmm. Why didn't you intervene sooner when Benny ambushed me? Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. Mm, I see. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. Talk about something else. What Where is the platinum it's chip? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. Mm, the more I know about the chip, the easier it can be to find it. You might for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. If you killed Mr. House, you get the wild card ending. Oh, there are multiple endings, actually. I didn't even know that. I guess I should have expected that. If the chip's available, why use a single courier to transport it? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. 
Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary uh, protection I see, I see. to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Mm. Have a right to know more? That's simply not true. <laughs> I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it, and I paid for it dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of US dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions mm, for that. All right, all right. Didn't send the robots to arrest Benny? Frontal assaults on casinos. Not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming. And all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. All right. Well, who exactly are you, Mr. House? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas. Trip. <laughs> of the whole strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, mm. a vast computer and robotics corporation. You appear to be a computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. <laughs> Their lives when you're claiming is impossible. <laughs> I see you've made a study of the topic. My knowledge of the science of longevity would fill several textbooks. Perhaps after a decade or two of economic reconstruction, I can commercialize these technologies and offer them to others, such as yourself. Mm, interesting. How have you stayed alive all this time? Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. How did you establish new videos? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. He's a smart boy, he's a smart boy. He was Reverend Oliver and the Patriot. I don't think I've... the Patriot? The Patriot? I think I've watched that movie. A drunk skeleton, the last unicorn. I think I've ever watched that either. <laughs> Is it about something else? Talk about the factions vying for New Vegas. It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the platinum chip has. Alright. Tell me your terms again. As I said before, many spades you owe to decide. I'll accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the plan. I think that's all. I'll return when I have the chip. Alright, there we go. Interesting, interesting stuff. But do we go back now? It goes like around here, right? Yeah, that's Victor right there. Congratulations, partner. The Pardon me? me to come <laughs> to the high suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one who gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait and sweep. Enjoy the dates, partner. They're plenty fancy. All right. Presidential seat, I guess. That's our room, isn't it? We might need some sleep. I rolled her sweet. Do? Ooh. I like the double band. 
pretty decent room actually, no bad at all. Slow bathrooms here. What do we have here? Computers? Oh, we can't access them. It's okay, there's another bed. How's the stats looking? I think we are actually not that bad. Yeah, we are not that bad. So we, we don't actually need this. It's pretty cool though. Very luxu luxurious. Is that how you say the word? Oh my god, getting stuck by the golden door. There we go. You can fill the entire place with your companions. So, like, if I get more companions than the ones I already have, they can be, like, just stay here? That would be pretty cool. Oh, shit, that was really him. Okay, have you seen the Little Mermaid? He was Prince Eric. I'll take the food. I've seen the Little Mermaid, but when I was a kid, I won't remember it, <laughs> to be honest. My good game has a bunch of people walking around with riot armor and OP weapons. Sounds like fun. Aye, right, well, we don't have anything here. I'm surprised Boom or Rex isn't here. I guess they are at the bottom. I guess these will be the companions that we're not currently carrying. So what is the cocktail lounge? This is the casino? What do we have here? Ooh, for restaurant, this is making me hungry now. <laughs> I guess this is just it? Is nobody here? Alright. Prince Eric's older gentleman assistant. Oh, I see. I, I don't even know what character is that. They're waiting outside the entrance, I see. Let's go to the casino then. Can we play in the casino? Probably not. Goodbye. Doesn't seem like we can interact with anything. Oh, no, we can. <laughs> Alright, how do we do this? Exactly. I guess we don't. I guess I just sat on the on the chair. I didn't actually play the machine. And now I'm stuck. Amazing. Can you leave on the other side, please? No? You're just gonna be stuck. Maybe sit on the next chat then? There we go. We should be able to live from this one. She's gonna live from the right? Please. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Let's leave the casino. There's nothing here. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. NCR it's Trooper? from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Thank you, thank you. Let's check this. Ambassador Crocker's note. I wish to p speak with you immediately in regards to important matters. I trust you have learned enough in your travels to know the new California Republic is an honorable nation engaged in a beneficent mission in the Mohave in general and New Vegas in particular. It is in addition a wealthy nation that well rewards persons who dedicate themselves to its national interests, whether for reasons patriotic or material. Allow me to reassure you that if you have committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, it is in my power to pardon misconduct of this sort. I stand ready to receive you at the earliest convenience in my offices at the New California Republic Embassy at the south side of Vegas Strip. God bless the New California Republic, the Crocker Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenty Potentiary Department of State, New California Republic. Alright, that's interesting. Free side, New Vegas Strip. Quests. The house always wins. Bring the platinum chip to Mr. House. Well. Ring a ding a ding. We need to confront Benny at the Torps Casino. The Torps. Wow. Gomorrah. Air conditioned. <laughs> Sounds really okay. Gumbler. Gumbler and Sia Trooper. Damn, and she looks good to me too. Well, are they talking about me? Wow, thank you. <laughs> this is very kind of you, random NPC. Who's this? Caleb McCaffrey. I have a quest with him. Kill Caleb McCaffrey. Well, let me talk to him. Huh. So the garrison sent you Assume the position. Down. Ring what the ding. Joke. Ring the ding ding. Do 
Give me a share of the caps and your hat, and you can go free. Now, why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother. If you were to kill Benny and Mr. House, you get a legendary pie. To I use your hat and you're free, man. I'll tell Francine you're dead. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets, thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. Would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. There we go. That's the quest. Is there any other dialogue? Thanks no. Everything you've done. It really means a lot. He sounds really drunk now. <laughs> Scott is nice, though. Kill him. <laughs> I do okay. Just let him be. Don't want to kill people for no reason. Gate to New Vegas Strip. You get a legion spy to you get invited by Caesar and you no longer be hostile to the legion unless you attack them again. Well, this sudden, sudden bold. <laughs> so the very handsome bold head and big mustache look. Nothing wrong with that. I take my wife everywhere, but somehow she keeps finding her way back. I did it. My cousin and his wife are a Billy Knight. She's fast and he's hideous. Ha -cha -cha. Who hey, is he talking on, about? I'm trying to put on a show here. You just have a few questions. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. Who are you? The name's Knight, Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you. Oi. <laughs> yeah. We're standing on the street corner in the middle of nowhere. That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point! How long have you been doing comedy? If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me, first thing she said was, boy, that's a funny looking kid. I guess I gotta find something <laughs> mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. So you're looking for your big break? Break's better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. <laughs> hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells. All right. Goodbye. Sure, later. Yeah, I don't think I want to, like, end the game with the Caesars, to be honest. I don't like them. <laughs> I kind of hate them. And I kind of like the NCR, to be honest. Where are my companions? I guess they stay outside? What? They were with me here. Yeah. Oh, they're right there. I guess I have to talk to them and tell them to follow me. Follow me. I've got your back. There we go. Doko? Oh. No. He's just a sad doggo boy. It's okay. There we go. I got them. I mean, I rocked that look myself when I was still on Mag. <laughs> what, the bald head and long mustache? <laughs> Wait, you said an egg. Are you actually a transgender woman as well? That would be fun. I, I didn't know that. Wait, do I follow you on Twitter? <laughs> it's a bit difficult to know who's from Twitter and who isn't because of the Twitch name just being different. Yes? Wait, are you somebody that I actually know? <laughs> like a close friend? <laughs> Top's Casino main floor? Well, that's where we, we need to go, right? So. You go walk with the goo in the... Oh, the, the Wrangler. Alright, I'll talk to the goo hey, next. Hey, baby then. doll. Welcome to the Top's Hotel <laughs> The casino. baby doll. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. I guess that's okay. Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be as safe as kittens till you leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. That's okay. really cool then, Donuts. I didn't know you were going to. Out of the way. What can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Do you have a Twitter? If you do, I'll follow you there. I always like following all the other girls. Not that close, but you did help me with Mons and for th oh wait, 
uh, you, 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 the girl that has the 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 AVI, which is the black hat, right? I I know you are. Wow, I didn't recognize the 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 handle, but I do know the the AVI, right? That is you. <laughs> oh, it's nice. It's nice to see you. I didn't. I hadn't realized it was you at all all this time. So it's nice to see you around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what is that to do here? Everything your little art desires. That's what. Hello, you game. Like it goes seven oh one. A little best of the game. It goes seven oh two. Hungry? <laughs> How are you thirsty? doing this evening? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Where did you take my weapons? Relax, baby. The safe baby. houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. I'm getting a bit embarrassed. He keeps calling me baby, Have to be time. honest. <laughs> well. Such a charming boy. Well. Alright, he has my weapons. Now, I want to talk to Benny. Is he going to be here? Or is he going to be like on our top floor or something? So how's the game going? It's going pretty okay. I think we're like 25 hours in at this point. Something like that. Oh, I see him. It's right there. What in the goddamn? Wow, you're it's ugly, my groove, dude. Hey? Smooth move, smooth. <laughs> Hello. That broad everyone saw go in the lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. Since you need to work on your marksmanship. I was on the platinum chip. You <laughs> want reason not to kill you? <laughs> Seems we need to work on a marksmanship. I what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains kill him? Care. I don't know if I want to kill him. Just Apparently, way, you can also you fuck him. <laughs> no, no, you didn't die. Not that I would want to, of course. Go somewhere is more private life. Any questions you got, I'll answer. What do you have in mind? To start. I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP. <laughs> Ring the thing. <laughs> Do it. Down here for a while and make everything look business as usual. Just then kidding, but the boy is an asshole. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. He's not the most handsome boy, but... Two conditions. Lose the bodyguards and we both go to the suit now. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Alright. Well, it doesn't seem that much of an asshole, to be honest. He's voiced by Chandler from Friends. Wow, actually, really? Take elevator hey. to the president's seat. Hey, what is that him? Now that you and me's got some privacy, oh. I gotta ask. Oh, I didn't realize that was his suit. <laughs> Call it luck. Security and drug me, dug me up, and a dog did the rest. It takes more than a couple of bullets in my head to stop me. <laughs> yeah, hello. Well, serves me right for using a 9mm. <laughs> Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? Once you were vertical? It's like you dropped something, but the CD? To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Oh, the irony. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind going to blow? I'm wondering why I shouldn't just kill you. I've got questions, a bunch of them. If you think we can work together, let's see your offer. We're sticking at my suit band, Scrum. We'll talk later. <laughs> I think I have questions. You got questions? I got answers. Tell me about the platinum chip. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. How does the chip work? It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer, I've found. Must require special hardware. Uh, I mean, you would expect to just fit a chip in a computer. You haven't used many computers, have you? What does the chip do? It has something to do with the Securitrons, I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them heft. 
might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the Strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. Hmm. Talk about something else. How else can I clue you in? I want to know about the factions getting for Vegas. Yeah, it's a tricky world out there. I'll tell it to you straight. Tell me about Mr. House. A good cat to swing with. Or was, until he stopped mewing. It was House's big idea to resurrect the Strip. He recruited the three families as muscle, showed us how to set up casinos, negotiated with the NCR. None of this in person, mind you. Did all of his talking through those Securitrons of his. But lately, the silence is deafening. The robots collect House's share of the take every week, and life goes on. Ain't exactly what I'd call leadership. It's a bit dumb. The Securitrons always have the rockets and all the hardware with them, but House needs a chip to enable the program. Oh, I see. I thought it would be more dramatic than that. It would be like, uh... I don't know, an atomic bomb or something like in the end of Dear Zack, Human Revolution. <laughs> what makes the Chairman so special? We're the definition of cool, baby. We know how to swing. Folks come to us to learn how to enjoy themselves. Of the three families, we're the only ones with the heart and savoir faire to run the strip on our own. But to think of the Omitters. A tribe of folks. <laughs> Every single one of them is a degenerate. Oh, my cat wants so much attention. Plan an angle. How do I know? He's a very sleepy they boy. Always are. What do you know about the White Glove Society? Personally, they give me the heebie-jeebies. Heebie-jeebies. There's such a thing as being too polite. If I may, this my pleasure. That. Don't get me wrong. That resort of theirs is strictly ring-a-ding. Ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. <laughs> You know about the NCR. A nation of meddlers trying to muscle in on our action. Well, we got muscles too. And smarts besides. Only reason the NCR hasn't busted up our scene is they're a little afraid of Mr. House and a lot afraid of Caesar. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Ghosty. I don't know why the the alert didn't go off, but we don't have Thank you. <laughs> Not the Hebody Gibodies. Meanwhile, they're all that's keeping Caesar's Legion at bay. Plus, NCR soldiers and citizens are our best customers. It's complicated. Oh, yum, yum. <laughs> he wants me to go to bed with him so he can sleep on me. That's what he usually likes. The cat, I mean. <laughs> Tell me about the Caesar's Legion. Worst of the worst. A tribe of degenerate losers led by a creep. They crucify people for kicks, slaughter whole Yeah, terror. I don't like them either. The NCR beat them at the dam three years ago, but that didn't stop them. They spent the meanwhile gathering strength. They're gonna try to take the dam again real soon. And if they do, Vegas as we know it will cease to exist. Let's talk about something else. Something else you wanted to know? <laughs> think I'm just gonna play a different game on stream? I think trying like different games is a good strategy. Because then it helps you get more like followers when people see you streaming something that they were looking for, that sort of stuff. Yeah, Automat, I think a lot of people like that, so maybe you could get some viewers from there. Though I'm not sure. I think it might be easier to get viewers on Twitch if you do like multiplayer games rather than single player campaigns, but I guess it depends on the single player campaign. And also, you should just play something that you want to play so you have fun. Because if you're not having fun, it's not. It's gonna be difficult. <laughs> so... I thought New Vegas is an old game, yeah. It might be easier to like... It's definitely easier if you play stuff like Overwatch. Or those big games, I guess. To get like people to come, but... I've been doing pretty okay with New Vegas. It hasn't been bad at all. And I've been having a great time with the game. It's pretty fun. Help me understand the scheme of yours. Change in management. Or maybe Fortnite Grand Theft Auto or Subnautica. I need a way to control them. And a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row. Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesars Legion. It won't matter. Yeah, I don't know. It's always going to be difficult though. Starting streaming is pretty difficult. I'm at a point now where the channel is growing as I just stream, so and I usually have people around, etc, etc. So it's got a lot better, but 
for a while it can be pretty like pretty difficult just like screaming into the void a lot of the time but it is what it is mm, what makes you think you can still hey, see the odds may look long but that's just because we ain't done rigging them I won't toss the dice until we are I've gleaned a lot working with mr. house he was a good cat to swing with I still got a lot to learn but it's it's coming together we need to commit murder to make this happen. Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you is rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. Hmm. All right. It's a game, and games have winners and losers. Mm. I prefer the former. How about you? What did he say again? Hey, the odds may look long, but that's just because we ain't... Oh, he's not done with it yet. Okay. 